Kappa. Mahavikasa Gadi ministers did Uddhav government let the underworld get its way. Mega proof piles up. Uddhav government's role becomes clearer. Did Uddhav government know but did nothing about it? Finance Minister Sita Raman held a key meeting on illegal loan apps after Andhra couple dies by suicide. Hello and welcome you watching This is Exclusive with me, Shavan Sen. We're starting today's edition of This is Exclusive, getting you full details uh, as far as uh, the grave of Yakub Memon is concerned. Who's essentially responsible for it? And... Uh, who's going to take the responsibility given the fact that there are some serious allegations that have been leveled against the Mahavikas Agadi. Tonight we are getting you more such proof. Amid the raging controversy over the alleged beautification of the grave of a terrorist Yakub Memon, Republic TV has now accessed a complaint letter of the former trustee of the graveyard where he has revealed that he was threatened by Tiger Memon to build a special grave for his brother Yakub Memon. Take a look at this report and then we get you some more breaking news on this story. Amid raging controversy over alleged beautification of the grave of terrorist Yakub Memon, it has now emerged that the trustee of Badaka Brastan were threatened by latter's brother and gangster Tiger Memon. Republic TV has accessed a complaint letter of former trustee of the graveyard where he revealed that he was threatened by Tiger Memon to build a special grave for his brother Yakub Memon. In the letter sent to Mumbai police on January 6, 2020, the then trustee claimed to have received a threat call from Tiger Memon's close aide and relative Ralph Memon. Ralph Memon allegedly asked the complainant to build a permanent grave for Yakub Memon, failing which he will be killed. Republic TV has spoke to the complainant. सत्रह 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 अठारह उन्नीस बी आर ठीक है ये उनके हाथ का लिखा हुआ लेटर है जो उन्होंने जुमा मस्जिद में पेश किया था और जो वो हमसे मांग रहे थे ये लेटर किसने दिया था ये दिया था राउफ मेमन ने राउफ मेमन ने लेटर दिया था सत्रह अठारह उन्नीस जो एच ब्लॉक ट्वेंटी जो अभी फिलहाल पूरा एच ब्लॉक जो मार्बल का जो है वो बना हुआ है एच ट्वेंटी वो उन्होंने हमसे मांगा था मैं था और एक दूसरा हमारे साथ ट्रस्टी थे फॉर्मल ट्रस्टी परवेश सरकार है तो हमने उसको देने से उनको डिनाई करा कि हम आपको ये चीज़ नहीं दे सकते हैं तो उन्होंने काफ़ी बार अपने मतलब नहीं दे सकता हमको परेशान करने लगे जब बार बार मैंने उनको मना करा तो फिर मुझको ये बोलने लगे लो भाई का फोन आया भाई से बात करो धमकी देने लगे However, no action has been taken yet. Meanwhile, Republic TV has also accessed pictures of terrorist Yakub Memon's relative Rauf Memon with multiple ministers in the Mahavikas Agadi government. In the pictures, Rauf Memon is seen meeting NCP's Nawab Malik and Aslam Sheikh of the Congress. Meanwhile, soon after the pictures came out, BJP hit out at the previous MVA government. Today it is evident that there was a free run given to underworld under the MVA government and also there was Atankyo Se Hamdardi under the Uddhav Thakre government. And there are many evidences that have been put out, whether it is the pictures of the minority affairs minister with the family members and the close aides of Yakub Memon, whether it is the pictures of Congress leaders and their ministers who became ministers later on with Yakub Memon's family, whether it is the pictures of Kishori Pednekar with such people. It shows that there was a complete nexus because this land or this property was being demanded by Yakub Memon's family to beautify his grave, to make a smarak for him. The Maharashtra government has ordered a probe into the allegations. Yakub Memon was hanged at the Nagpur Central Jail on July 30th, 2015 for his involvement in multiple blasts which rocked Mumbai on March 12, 1993, killing 257 people and injuring more than 1,400. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Getting in some breaking news on this ed edition. We've now accessed uh, the court order. In fact, we've been told uh, that there is a possibility that uh, the court order too was essentially violated. This is a court order coming in from 2021. The court order essentially said that the graveyard property belongs uh, to the Waqf uh, board. In fact, uh, not just that, uh, 
Also, the second complainant, the second complainant in this particular case has spoken to Republic TV's Alicia Nair. We'll in fact play that out while we're also getting in some more breaking news right now with regards uh, to the court order that has been accessed uh, by Republic TV in which there is a clear mention of the fact that this graveyard was uh, a property of the Waqf board. In fact, um, the former trustee was he really threatened in the name of Tiger Memon? Former trustee was also warned over the allotment of uh, the grave. These are some latest details that we're picking up and breaking on. The, this is exclusive. Let's just play out uh, the reaction that is coming in from the second complainant who spoke to my colleague uh, Alicia Nair. Take a look. This is Rauf Memon, who tells you a Yaqub Memon. तो ये हमारे पास आया और हमसे कब्रिस्तान के कबर के बारे में बोला कि हमको ये तीन कबरें चाहिए 17 18 19 जो के जर्नल थी उसके अंदर बॉडी दफनाई जाती थी तो हम लोगों ने उसको उसी वक्त ना बोल दिए तो उस वक्त वो कब्रिस्तान में जब मेरे से मिलने के लिए आया तो मुझे फोन फोन दे रहा है मेरे को बोलता है कि मैं तुम्हारी अभी बात करवाता हूं पाकिस्तान में टाइगर मेमन से खाली सलाम दुआ कर लो सलाम दुआ कर लो अरे भाई मुझे ना सलाम करना ना दुआ करना है मैं क्यों किसी से बात करूं जब मेरा किसी से कुछ लेना देना नहीं है तो मैं किसी से क्यों बात करूं तो मैंने उस वक्त कब्रिस्तान में बात करना मुनासिब नहीं समझा क्योंकि मुझे जरूरत ही नहीं ना हमने उसको उसी वक्त साफ तौर पे इंकार कर दिया था कि भाई हम लोग तुमको अलॉटमेंट कबरे नहीं दे सकते तुम मस्जिद के अंदर लेटर लिखो मस्जिद में लेटर लिखो हम मीटिंग में ले गए मीटिंग में लेने के बाद में अगर होता है तो ठीक है नहीं होता परमानेंट कब्र को लेकर मांग की जा रही थी नहीं नहीं ये दूसरी नई कब्रें मांग रहा था जिसमें उसने बाकायदा नंबर डाला हुआ था एप्लीकेशन में जो जामाइद बॉम्बे ट्रस्ट के में उसने एप्लीकेशन देके वो एप्लीकेशन को इनवर्ट किया हुआ था जिसमें कब्र नंबर लिखा हुआ था 16 17 18 ये कब्र नंबर लिखा हुआ था तो हमने तो उस वक्त नहीं दिए तो हमको उसने धमकाया तो धमकाया तो हमने एटीएस में उसके खिलाफ कंप्लेन कर दिया ये उसकी कंप्लेन है ये समझे ये देखो आप इस पे मेरा नंबर भी लिखा हुआ है समझे लेन वहां से फिर एटीएस से हमारे कोई रिप्लाई नहीं आया इसके बारे में तो हम फिर खामोश हो गए फिर इसने दूसरे ट्रस्टी लोग से कांटेक्ट किया उनके साथ में मिलके उसने हमारे पे एफआईआर किया एफआर करके हमको अरेस्ट किया और ट्रस्ट को मौका मिल गया हमको ट्रस्ट में से निकाल ले मेरा अगला सवाल आपसे यही था क्योंकि आप खुद बड़ा कब्रिस्तान के चेयरमैन रहे हो तो अभी की जो तस्वीरें हम देख रहे हैं कि याकूब मेमन के जो कब्र है उस पर एलईडी लाइट लगाई है मार्बल टाइल्स लगाई है तो ये किस कब परमिशन होती किस किस इस पर इन्वॉल्वमेंट होती ये पहले एप्लीकेशन दिया जाता है एप्लीकेशन देने के बाद वो मीटिंग में अप्रूवल होता है के भाई ये ये कब्र पे परमिशन मांग रहा है मार्बल लगाने की इसको दिया जाए या नहीं दिया जाए फिर उसके बाद में मीटिंग में पास होता है सर 20 की दिखाई जा रही 2020 2021 की है जहां पर कोर्ट के भी ऑर्डर आया है उस समय जो सरकार को अगर हम देख रहे हैं जो महाविकास आगाड़ी की थी तो क्या आपके कंप्लेंट पर इस वजह से नहीं दिया जाता क्योंकि एक तस्वीर भी सामने आ रही है उस तस्वीरों में राउ मेमन जो है वो फिर चाहे नवाब मलिक हो या फिर असलम शेख हो जो कि महाविकास आगाड़ी के मिनिस्टर्स रहे हैं तो क्या उनके दबाव पर आपने जो कंप्लेंट दी गई थी उस पर एक्शन नहीं लिया गया ऐसा क्या कह सकते हैं नहीं ऐसा मैं उसके बारे में मैं कुछ नहीं बता सकता हूं ना कि उन लोगों ने एक्शन क्यों नहीं लिए करके मैं उसके बारे में कैसा बता सकता हूं पुलिस से या फिर एटीएस से अपने से फिर बातचीत की थी क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं पर एक सीरियस थ्रेट आपको दिया गया था हम हमारा काम था कंप्लेंट देना हमने कंप्लेंट दे के छोड़ दिए उसके बाद में वो लोग ने एक्शन नहीं लिया ये उनका काम है अब क्यों नहीं लिया हमने उस चीज को फॉलो नहीं किया बाद में क्या अब फ्रेश एप्लीकेशन भी दिया जाएगा क्योंकि काफी सीरियस मैटर था और आप जैसे बता रहे कि आप के ऊपर ही क्रॉस एफआर की गई वो क्रॉस एफआर की हुई थी तो उनके साथ में मिलकर ही किए ना पूरे ट्रस्टियों के साथ में मिलकर क्रॉस एफआर क्योंकि उनके साथ में उनका क्या क्या कमिटमेंट हुआ वो मुझे नहीं मालूम समझे वो कमिटमेंट के बिना पर ही तो हमारा हमारे पर एफआर हुआ है well in fact the biggest uh, clincher on the story right now with republic tv where we have accessed a sensational letter a letter that has been written by the former uh, trustee in fact he's essentially complained about um, the threat that he was allegedly receiving from tiger memon in fact uh, we're now being told that uh,
The threats were basically coming in the name of uh, Tiger Memon. And he was essentially threatened to allot a grave to Yakub Memon. The former trustee, in fact, wrote this to the Mumbai police back in January 2020. And the former trustee got the death threat from Tiger Bevan, which is, it finds a mention in this letter that has been written by him. In fact, we'll just uh, put that out, uh, a complaint, the copy of that letter in a short while from now. The police basically, under Uddhav Thakre, did they actually ignore this uh, letter that was written by the former trustee in which there is a categoric mention of the fact that he was threatened, he was asked to give uh, a lot a grave uh, to Yakub Memon. In fact, uh, there are more details we are getting in from my colleague uh, Alisha Dyer who is joining us on this broadcast. Alisha, quickly take us through the details uh, that you are picking up right now on the letter that has been accessed. Um, the role of the former trustee, number one. Number two, in terms of uh, what was the role essentially played by the civic authorities and the Mumbai police? Uh, did they really not act upon the fact that here is a former trustee who is essentially saying that he's received threats from none other than Tiger Memon? And did the police really not act upon it? Well, yes, uh, that was a complaint that was given by former trustee of uh, Bada Kabristan and uh, uh, clearly in that letter that we have access has clearly mentioned that uh, there was a rouse a memon who is a close aide of a relative uh, of a tiger memon who came to his office and uh, clearly mentioned that he allotted to Yakub Memon and his uh, family. So that was the certain that was uh, given to uh, the former trustee. Uh, and uh, not only this, it was also mentioned by the uh, 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 Memon that uh, if he does not uh, provide uh, the permanent grave to Yakub Memon, so there will be a Tiger Memon who will uh, intervene and uh, he, he will also be disappeared. So that is what is mentioned in the complaint that was given to Mumbai Police. While yes, we we'll try and just uh, reconnect with Alicia. There seems to be some audio problem. We'll try and reconnect with Alicia a short while from that. There seems to be some audio problem that we'll try and fix it. But as Alicia was pointing out, the question here is that did the Mumbai police really act on it? If there was a letter that was written by the former trustee, that too back in January 2020, in which there is a specific mention of the fact that there were calls that were coming in from Pakistan and he was essentially told that these calls were coming in from Tiger Memon. And these were not requests that were made. He was essentially told that he needs to allot the grave and that grave would be for the beautification essentially taking place. And what you see right now on your screens, these are the latest images of that very same grave. Who exactly was really responsible for granting that permission, number one? Number two, in terms of whether at all the authorities were aware of this. If they were aware, why did they really not act upon it? Questions are also being raised about both the governments. On the one side, the Mahavikas Agadi has uh, put the blame on the previous government, the BJP government, saying that, uh, first of all, it was the security that was provided by the BJP government at that point in time. But the bigger question right now is about the grave and not whether at all there was security that was provided when, after the hanging of Yakub Bhaman, his body was uh, brought back. Let me quickly go back to my colleague Alisha. Alisha, just a quick point. In terms of the in action on the part of the police what more are you picking up to act and the picture that we have also access of uh, the former uh, minister cabinet ministers in a mahavika sagadi which can be seen with the rouse uh, uh, memon uh, clearly identify and clearly give us intention that uh, this is something the reason uh, where the no action has been taken over the serious complaint, a, a serious threat a complaint that was filed by the former trustee. So it was back then in 2020 uh, where the uh, former trustee has clearly mentioned uh, in his letter that it was uh, Raoul uh, Memon uh, who is a close aide and family member of, uh, uh, as a relative of uh, Tiger Memon who came to his office and uh, clearly mentioned that there should be the graveyard the number 17, right. 18 and 19 that has to be allotted uh, to Yakub Memon and his okay. family members. But at the time he rejected, uh, later it was threatened given to him in the name of uh, Tiger Memon. But yes, there was no action that was initiated and now they have been demanding action right. that has to be uh, taken, a strict action should be taken up by the Shinde government. 
Well, thank you very much, uh, Alicia, for getting us the latest uh, details. Uh, we are given to understand that the Maharashtra government essentially has taken uh, this matter seriously. In fact, they are saying that uh, they are going to carry out a thorough probe, starting with the Deputy Chief Minister, Devendra Fadnavis, who has essentially said that the Maharashtra police would be looking into this matter. A quick action would also be taken. Shift of focus now to the other top story that we are getting for you on This is Exclusive. Remember, we've been tracking the story very closely, exposing how these loan sharks, Chinese loan sharks have been op operating through these loan apps. Now, there is a steady increase in cyber crimes in Madhya Pradesh also. Common people are being cheated continuously through these loan apps. Not only this, innocent people are being harassed through these gaming applications. A shocking revelation has now come to light uh, through the investigation that's been carried out by the Madhya Pradesh cyber cell, in fact, crores of rupees coming from this fraud are now going out of the country. Take a look at this report. This is Fiza Khan from Bhopal. Fiza's sister had applied for a loan of rupees 3,000 through a loan app called Yes Credit App. Soon after she submitted government documents, she started receiving calls from an international number demanding for money. They also threatened to defame her if she failed to pay the money. मेरे मोबाइल से एक कैश एश क्रेडिट यस क्रेडिट करके एक ऐप था उससे मेरी छोटी बहन ने एक छोटा सा लोन ले लिया था जिसके बारे में उसे कुछ पता नहीं था तो अभी सात दिन पूरे हुए तो वो लोग मेरे व्हाट्सएप पर बहुत ज़्यादा गंदी गंदी इमेजेस डाल के उस इमेज में मेरा नंबर एड कर कर मेरे जितने भी कॉन्टेक्ट लिस्ट में लोग हैं उन्हें डाल रहे हैं कि ये कॉल गर्ल है इसको कॉल करिए अगर तुमने पैसा नहीं लौटाया तो अब हम तुम्हारी तस्वीर लगा कर भी ऐसा करेंगे जी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज उन्होंने कोई शर्तें नहीं रखी थी मतलब जैसे ही उन्होंने इन्होंने सारा अपना आधार वाधार डाला था मेरा तो फौरन से उन दो पाँच दस मिनट बाद पैसे आ गए थे सर वो बाहर के विदेश के नंबर है प्लस एट एट ऐसे करके कुछ नंबर हैं वो मैंने सब मेंशन किए हैं एप्लीकेशन में वहाँ से आ रहे हैं लगातार कंटिन्यू कॉल फोटोज मैसेज गंदी गंदी गालियाँ दे रहे हैं बहुत परेशान हूँ सर में we discussed the matter with the deputy commissioner of cyber cell amit kumar amit kumar informed that there has been a significant increase in such cases in recent times when such cases are investigated shocking revelations are being made in most cases if the victim gives money then that money is being sent to china through cryptocurrency within the last 8 months more than 2500 complaints of fraud are coming to the fore through the loan app out of which in more than 50 cases money has gone to the account of a person living in china recent ek shift hua hai darasal loan fraud mein call center sim box ka use karte hain humne abhi tak do cases pakde hain jisme har sim box mein vi ke numbers hote the aur lagbhag तीन सिम बॉक्सेस में सौ से ज्यादा नंबर्स थे पहले वो इंडिया के नंबर्स होते थे अभी वर्चुअल नंबर को यूज करके जो है कॉल किया जा रहा है और एपी के जब भी आप लोग इंस्टॉल करते हैं लोन के तो आप पूरा का पूरा कॉन्टैक्ट एक्सेस अपना दे देते हैं और छह दिनों के अंदर ही जो पैसे लेते हैं वो डबल हो जाता है तो इसको लेकर के अगर लोग पे नहीं करते हैं तो फिर उनको जो है मल्टीपल कॉल सेंटर्स माफिया के जैसे उन्हें कॉल करते हैं और कॉल करने के बाद धमकी देते हैं या तो पैसे वापस करें या आपके परिवार को जो है हम धमकाएंगे या आपके फोटो की मॉर्फिंग की जाएगी Cyber experts believe that if such frauds are to be stopped then people should be aware of cyber crimes. Madhya Pradesh cyber thagon ki pehli pasand banta ja raha hai. Agar aankdon ki baat kare to bite 8 mahine mein 2500 se zyada cyber fraud ki shikayatein sirf Bhopal mein darj ki gayi hain aur sabse badi baat ye hai ki sabse zyada fraud loan app ke madhyam se ho raha hai aur iska paisa desh ke bahar चाइना सिंगापुर और पाकिस्तान में बैठे जालसाजों के अकाउंट में पहुंच रहा है साइबर सेल एक्सपर्ट की माने तो ये जो फ्रॉड का पैसा है ये बिटकॉइन और क्रिप्टो करेंसी के माध्यम से देश के बाहर पहुंच रहा है यानी ये कहना गलत नहीं होगा चाइना सिंगापुर या पाकिस्तान परोक्ष रूप से देश की इकोनॉमी पर भी अटैक कर रहे हैं कैमरा मैन संजय अंकिल के साथ सत्यविजय सिंह रिपब्लिक मीडिया नेटवर्क we've been continuously focusing on this very story a story that uh, we've tracked over the last uh, several weeks uh, because there is a larger game plan the very game plan that these loan apps uh, that have been floated by most of these chinese entities money being diverted out of the country through crypto exchanges in fact let me bring in my colleague uh, satyavijay who's getting us this story from madhya pradesh क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंजेस की अगर बात करें कि किस तरह से ये लोन एप्स पहले तो चाइनीज 
लोग लेके आते हैं और उसके बाद जो पैसे वो बना रहे हैं वो पैसे को देश के बाहर ले जाने के लिए वो क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंजेस के इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं इसको लेकर मध्य प्रदेश साइबर सेल उनका क्या कहना है कि क्या वो केंद्रीय जांच एजेंसी को ये पूरे सब केसेस जो वो जांच कर रहे हैं वो क्या उन क्या वो सौंपने वाले हैं क्या है भोपाल साइबर सेल हैं जो कि एसपी हैं जो अमित कुमार उन्होंने हमसे जानकारी साझा की और उसके बाद से खुलासा हुआ कि मध्य प्रदेश लगातार साइबर जो फ्रॉड करते हैं साइबर के जो जालसाज हैं उनका एक गढ़ बन गया है मध्य प्रदेश में आसानी से इस तरह की ठगी की जा सकती है और सबसे बढ़िया सबसे बढ़िया ये निकल कर सामने आई है कि क्रिप्टो करेंसी के माध्यम से पैसा देश के बाहर जा रहा है चाइना में थाईलैंड में सिंगापुर में और पाकिस्तान में बैठे लोग क्रिप्टो करेंसी के जरिए देश की इकोनॉमी पर भी अटैक कर रहे हैं जो हमें जानकारी साझा की गई है उसके मुताबिक तीन से चार स्टेप में लोगों को यहाँ मध्य प्रदेश के लोगों को फंसाया जाता है या वो यूथ जो टेलीग्राम पर है और चैटिंग करते करते वो ऐसे लोगों के झांसे में आते हैं और एक रेंट अकाउंट वो बनाते हैं अकाउंट उनके द्वारा बनाया जाता है और बदले में उन्हें क्रिप्टो में पैसा दिया जाता है और उसी पैसे उसी अकाउंट को बाद में जालसाज है वो खरीद लेते हैं और जो साइबर सेल ने अभी तक डिटेक्ट किया है जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन में निकल कर सामने आया है जो खरीदे गए अकाउंट है इनका पैसा डायरेक्ट चाइना सिंगापुर थाईलैंड पहुंचता है और जो फ्रॉड के लिए फोन भी किए जा रहे हैं उसमें जो सर्वर है उसका भी जो कोड है वो देश के बाहर का आता है तो इसी पर इन्वेस्टिगेशन अभी साइबर सेल कर रही है करीब आठ महीने में पच्चीस से ज्यादा ऐसी शिकायतें आई हैं जो लोन ऐप के जरिए फ्रॉड किए जा रहे हैं और इसका पैसा देश के बाहर जा रहा है इसके अलावा कई और तरीके फ्रॉड जो है वो अपना रहे हैं इन सब चीजों पर इन्वेस्टिगेशन तो पुलिस की जा रही है लेकिन साइबर सेल एक्सपर्ट जो है उनका ये भी कहना है जो अधिकारी उनका ये भी कहना है कि लोगों को जागरूक होना होगा वो इस झांसे में ना आए और कम से कम वो बेरोजगार लोग जो इस तरह से चैटिंग ऐप या गेमिंग ऐप या लोन ऐप के जरिए इस तरह के झांसे में फंसते हैं वो सतर्क रहे नहीं तो एक बड़ा बड़ा उनके साथ चीटिंग हो सकती है एक और जानकारी जो लेना चाहेंगे आपसे इस वक्त कि किस तरह से कई सारे ऐसे केसेस आ रहे हैं मध्य प्रदेश में जानकारी ये दिया जा रहा है कि कई सारे ऐसे केसेस हैं जहां पे लोन एप्स सिर्फ मध्य प्रदेश में नहीं दूसरे शहरों में लॉन्च किया जाता है पर कई सारे ऐसे कंज्यूमर्स हैं जो मध्य प्रदेश में है इसको लेकर क्या जानकारी की आखिरकार सरकार इस वक्त वो क्या करना चाहेंगे देखिए साइबर सेल के जो इंचार्ज हैं अधिकारी हैं अमित कुमार उनका ये कहना है कि जो अकाउंट में पैसा ट्रांजैक्शन होता है वो गुजरात राजस्थान इन जगह पर होता है और इसके माध्यम से देश के बाहर जाता है फिलहाल भोपाल साइबर सेल ने इसकी जानकारी केंद्रीय जांच एजेंसियों को दी है उनसे पूरी जानकारी साझा की जा रही है उनसे मिले इनपुट के आधार पर यहाँ की साइबर सेल काम भी कर रही है और इसमें मध्य प्रदेश के Well, in fact, we're getting some more breaking news right now. BJP has announced a reject in the organizational in charges. In fact, we are now being told Om Mathur is being made the in charge of uh, Chhattisgarh. Biplab, the former Tripura Chief Minister, has been made the in charge of Haryana. Prakash Javrekar is now being made an in charge of Kerala. Vijay Rupani has been made the in charge of uh, Punjab. That's the latest uh, that's uh, coming in right now with the uh, details uh, on this story with regards to the reject that's been made by the Bharatiya Janata Party. A quick answer that I let's just get in from my colleague Ashwarya. Ash Ashwarya, uh, was this on the cards? Time, it's a normal process. It was pending for the last six to eight months. Uh, there is a series of changes. Fifteen new heads. and then co-heads of the state as far as the bjp's organization is concerned this is the process this should have happened in fact around 6 to 8 months prior as we just mentioned they are it is going to be vinod tavade chatisgarh it is rom mathur dadar and nagar haveli is going to be vinod sonkar he is an mp haryana has been given to the former chief minister of tripura right. biplav kumar dev jharkhand has been given to lakshmi kant vajpay sambit patra has been given the north east and state and mangal pandey west bengal tripura has been given to the bjp mp of uttar pradesh mahesh sharma so these are the new 15 heads of the new states punjab has been given to vijay right. rupani madhya pradesh yeah that's you sir thank you very much ishwarya for getting us the latest uh, details uh, on the rejig in the bharatiya janata party let's just quickly take you through another top story that we are getting you tonight on this is exclusive uh,
a joint operation that's been carried out by the Gujarat uh, ATS that's uh, seized heroin worth about uh, 200 crore rupees. Uh, we'll try and get in more details right now. Well, in fact, according to the Gujarat police, the chief of the Operation Gearbox was executed at the container freight station. During the details check of the container, 72 packets were found to be containing narcotics. Container weighing about 9,300 kilogram was intercepted. This container was labelled as carrying heavy metal scraps. That's the latest that we are picking up. It's a massive seizure that's been made by the Gujarat ATS. Let's just quickly go across to my colleague Priyanka, who's going to join us on this broadcast, getting us the latest details. Heroin worth about 200 crore rupees is what has been uh, seized by the Gujarat ATS, and that is from Kolkata, is what we are picking up. That's the latest details. Uh, we'll be tracking the story very closely. Well, that's all that we could pack in this edition of This is Exclusive, getting you three big stories of the day. On the other side, live and breaking with my colleague Abhishek Kapoor. Supreme Court has stayed the demolition of Kauli's restaurant in Goa. Remember, the restaurant is linked to the death of Sonali Fogart for violating the Coastal Regulation Zone norms. Celebrating Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, Union Home Minister Amit Shah flagged Fit India Bike Rally today. Uh, the 75 bikers would cover 75 iconic locations in the Pan India Rally. And here's a look at what else is making news this morning. The Indian javelin throw athlete Neera Chopra has scripted history by becoming the first ever Indian to win the prestigious Diamond League trophy, achieving the best throw of 88.44 metres to clinch one of the biggest wins in his career. Republic's Yakub newsbreak gets bigger. NDA minister seen with Rauf Memon. Republic uh, has accessed exclusive visuals of Abdul Rauf Memon uh, with Juma Masjid Trust and ministers of Mahavikas Agadi couple. Earlier in the day, Republic also accessed a sensational letter that was written by former graveyard trustee where terrorist Yakub Memon is buried. Uh, in the letter sent to the Mumbai police on 6th of January 2020, the then trustee claimed to have received a threat call from Tiger Memon's close aide and relative Rauf Memon. The International Olympic Committee has issued a final warning to the Indian Olympic Association to conduct its elections or face a suspension. The IOC has given India until December to conduct its elections or face immediate suspension when the world body's executive board meets. Neera Chopra scripted history for the country, becoming the first Indian to win the Diamond Trophy in the finale of Diamond League series in Men's Chapel. The first Indian athlete to win a Diamond League event. So he didn't have to look at that, you know, it, uh, he felt it. Compatriot, my <laughs> Steve Buckley, uh, great champion. More trouble for Mamta's man Anubrata Mondal, this time in 2010 Birbhum case. He was produced before the Kolkata court today. Supreme Court has stayed the demolition of Kauli's restaurant in Goa. Remember, the restaurant is linked to the death of Sonali Fogart for violating the Coastal Regulation Zone norms. Celebrating Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav, Union Home Minister Amit Shah flagged Fit India Bike Rally today. Uh, the 75 bikers would cover 75 iconic locations in the Pan India Rally. And here's a look at what else is making news this morning. The Indian javelin throw athlete Neera Chopra has scripted history by becoming the first ever Indian to win the prestigious Diamond League trophy, achieving the best throw of 88.44 metres to clinch one of the biggest wins in his career. 
Republic Siakob news break gets bigger and the minister is seen with Rauf Memon Republic uh, has accessed exclusive visuals of Abdul Rauf Memon uh, with Juma Masjid Trust and ministers of Mahavikas Agadi couple Earlier in the day Republic also accessed a sensational letter that was written by former graveyard trustee where terrorist Yakub Memon is buried uh, In the letter sent to the Mumbai police on 6th of January 2020 the then trustee claimed to have received a threat call from Tiger Memon's close aide and relative Rauf Memon The International Olympic Committee has issued a Republic sets India's news agenda a former trustee was threatened by Yakub relative to give grave to 1993 bomber Yakub relative seen with top MBA ministers did Uddhav government let the underworld get its way Bigger proof piles up Uddhav government's role becomes clearer did Uddhav government no but did nothing Top court issues notice to all 11 convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. India says no sparing the rapists. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman held key meeting on illegal loan apps after Andhra couple dies by suicide. And the ED file charge sheet in the NSE phone tapping a scandal against NSE's ex chief Chitra Ramakrishna Ravi Rana Narayan. and from mumbai police commissioner sanjay pandey for i we are getting you live pictures from the united kingdom where king charles 3 has landed in london as the uk mourns its queen late elizabeth 2 these are pictures uh, coming in from london Prince Charles, King Charles now back from Balmoral, Scotland uh, after having been by the side of the Queen Mother when she passed away. Niranjan is live with us uh, from our Mumbai newsroom. Niranjan over to you. What more are we hearing about uh, the accession council meeting which is going to decide upon Charles as uh, the next king of England? Abhishek, uh, yeah, first things first. Uh, he's uh, just landed at uh, King Charles. He landed at an aerial shot. Uh, you know, very different, very unlike how uh, the media would have uh, covered the story here in India. Of course, uh, uh, these uh, news agencies uh, are covering it very, very closely. Uh, that's a chopper shot of uh, the old Rolls Royce carrying uh, King Charles. Light. He's headed uh, towards the Buckingham Palace. and uh, he is going to be the next king of uh, uk and he is expected to address his people at about at about uh, 10:30 pm uh, local time 10:30 pm local time he is landed in london a few minutes back we had those pictures come in uh, of him landing the king charles the third his plane landed in london uh, that uh, that an old rolls royce that uh, carrying him as the new monarch starting to carry out his royal duties uh, it is uh, it is part of his royal duties now after the death of his mother uh, the late queen uh, queen elizabeth ii and uh, these are the pictures coming in he's expected to speak uh, in a few minutes from now uh, just to tell you a little bit about what happened earlier uh, you had uh, list trust the new uk prime minister speak in parliament in the uk parliament saying that uh, the death of their queen had caused the heart felt a heart felt for outpouring of grief across the world and of course uh, uk included uh, listras also spoke at the start of uh, a special session that was convened in the uk to pay tribute to queen elizabeth the late queen elizabeth and uh, you had a 96 gun salute abhishek a 96 gun salute i will play i am in studio a 96 gun salute uh, those pictures came in a few minutes back of uh, of uh, 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 you know one 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 uh, gun each for uh, each year of queen elizabeth life uh, you had those pictures coming as well a tribute being paid uh, to queen elizabeth by the forces of uk and uh, uh, normal business in parliament has been suspended in the uk parliament 
has completely suspended its normal business and lawmakers will spend two days offering their memories, reflections on the Queen who passed away last evening. Those are pictures that came in earlier, Abhishek, on the right of your screen. Uh, those are pictures of, uh, of uh, uh, the tribute that was paid earlier today. And uh, senior lawmakers uh, will also take an oath to King Charles III, the new monarch, the live pictures once again, as I, I as I believe, we're getting closer uh, to the Buckingham Palace. Uh, we go across uh, to those pictures uh, full frame as well. Now, and uh, uh, let's go across to those pictures full frame. We have the pictures of King Charles II, King Charles II, uh, the third. We get King Charles III and Camilla, the the Queen consort. They landed at uh, the RAF Northall, making their way back to London. And the vehicle bearing the royal standard left the airport, made its way towards central London. And uh, many people, onlookers in different parts of London, also cheering as uh, the new king, their new monarch, heads towards the Buckingham Palace. Now, this king, this is King Charles III, has spent much of his uh, 73 years uh, prepping himself for this role, Abhishek. He's taking the throne. Uh, at a time when uh, there's been a change of the political leadership in the country. Uh, there's Liz Truss, who's just sworn in as uh, the UK Prime Minister. And then you have a new monarch. So it's, it's challenging times for the UK. And on his first day of full duty, this is his first day of full duty in the UK, he's expected to return to London, meet the UK Prime Minister, and deliver a speech to his country at a time when... Many Britons are preoccupied with an energy crisis, a soaring cost of living, and the war in Ukraine, and the fallout from Brexit. So, it's an extremely challenging time, and uh, the public's, uh, public's uh, support, of course, uh, he hopes, uh, will be with him. And uh, the political establishment and uh, the parliamentarians have already sworn their allegiance to King Charles the third of his back. And uh, Charles is nowhere, of course, uh, nowhere near as popular as Queen Elizabeth III, uh, the second, I beg your pardon. But uh, it will be interesting to see what he uh, carries as a message uh, to his people when he speaks at about 10.30 p.m. in their time. So that's the update that we had. And just to give you uh, some other updates, uh, our British Prime Ministers who served during the reign of uh, Queen Elizabeth II uh, are also sharing their tributes uh, to the late monarch uh, through the day. Uh, there have been 15 Prime Ministers during the Queen's reign from Winston Churchill to Liz Truss. Of course, the Liz Truss is just appointed to speak. And uh, most of these leaders have held weekly private meetings with the Queen. And uh, we heard Boris Johnson a few minutes back in the live when he was speaking at the House of Commons. And uh, he spoke about how when he saw the Queen on Tuesday to offer his resignation, she was as radiant and as knowledgeable and as fascinated by politics as he could ever remember. And as wise, she had advised as anyone else uh, would know her. It's not wise at the age of 96, Abhishek. Uh, you know, he saw the pictures of her also uh, meeting Liz Truss. So, uh, very interesting that, uh, that uh, there, is, uh, there is a new monarch, there is a new prime minister in the UK. And uh, it, it, it is uh, the, the end of uh, that uh, Elizabethan era, as the UK media uh, describes it. Uh, across the UK, uh, there have been uh, different updates of, uh, uh, you know, football matches being postponed, different events being postponed. And, uh, and uh, those were pictures that came in earlier of uh, a gun salute for Queen Elizabeth II. Back to you for now. Keeping a close track, the Premier League uh, on an aside has postponed its upcoming round of matches with a mark of respect following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, 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 you know, that's, uh, that's uh, on, on another note, of course, that's the uh, uh, most followed British event on Indian television, the Premier League. So, uh, they too are paying their tributes by postponing some of those games. And uh, there's also cancellation of a high profile uh, golf, cricket, and horse racing events across Britain as well. So, uh, these are some of the updates that we had, Abhishek. Some interesting pictures, so we were live on it. I'm trying to get back to you for now. Let's keep the close track. Right, those are pictures of uh, King Charles III now with...
Queen Consort Camilla coming back from Balmoral where he was by the side of Queen Mother late Elizabeth II when she passed away peacefully uh, in Scotland and uh, now back to London where he would be addressing the nation and the Commonwealth following which there would be the accession council meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. London time when King Charles III would be anointed the king that's how that's how operation springtide pans out uh, at st james st james palace uh, operation springtide of course uh, uh, the code name for uh, the accession of king charles III that has been in place uh, since the time that uh, the accession was decided or, or the line of uh, accession was decided even as parallelly operation london bridge going on which is about who would do what post the death of queen elizabeth ii all right the picture is coming from london but we have back home breaking news update coming in after an attempt was made to disrupt the rally of assam chief minister himanta biswa sarma in telangana assam assembly deputy speaker has demanded an investigation into the matter he called the incident as a security breach of uh, the chief minister of his state and wants the telangana government uh, led by kcr to investigate how their own party leader could come all the way to the dais and create the kind of ruckus that he did in the rally being addressed by the assam chief minister security breach being claimed now and uh, it's going to be a showdown between the bjp and the telangana government bjp and trs and the telangana government and the assam, assam assembly it seems uh, we saw pictures from earlier in the day when uh, assam chief minister while addressing a rally in hyderabad was obstructed and had to be taken out safely this was this was a trs leader who had come and disrupted the proceedings of the rally we have a reaction oh, okay we have diganta kalita of the bjp on the phone line uh, uh, mr kalita the assam deputy speaker demanding a security probe uh, by the telangana police uh, but you think that the telangana police would do it given the fact that it's their party's government uh, it's trs's government and it was a trs leader और वर्क हु कैरीड आउट दैट डिसरप्शन देखिए बात ऐसा है मैं तो मैं भी अभी टीवी में देखा हूँ ये ऐसा एक बात अभी हो रहा है ये लेकिन बहुत खराब बात हुआ है ऐसा कोई भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी को कोई भी सिख मुख्यमंत्री एक स्टेट में जब जाता है उसको करी से करी स्ट्रिक्ट सिक्योरिटी देना है और इंडिया इज ए फ्रीडम सबको सब इंडिया में सबको सबको जा सकता है लेकिन आज तेलंगाना से ये जो इन लोग वर्कर ने ये काम किया है बहुत गलत बात है ये बहुत दुखी घटना है और ऐसा इन फ्यूचर में होना है हमारा रिक्वेस्ट यही है जो मुख्यमंत्री इंडिया का कोई भी स्टेट का मुख्यमंत्री हो सकता है उनका भी मुख्यमंत्री हमारा असम में आ सकता है तो हम लोग ऐसे भी व्यवहार करेगा क्या कभी भी नहीं होते तो ये बहुत दुखद घटना है और इसका पर करी से करी All right thank you so much uh, Diganta Kalita there BJP spokesperson uh, speaking on the episode of security breach of a Sam chief minister we will go back to Buckingham Palace uh, in London where King Charles 3 and Camilla the queen consort have reached uh, after having been by the side of the queen when she passed away in Balmoral Scotland uh, all ceremonies earlier we saw 96 gun salute uh, with each salute marking one year of uh, queen's life mourners supporters of the royal family there in the pictures king charles accepting their condolences their tributes We have seen crowds gathering around Buckingham Palace since early morning in fact overnight and uh,
lot of changes taking place. in London, in England, in the United Kingdom with the death of Queen Elizabeth II who had the longest reign of 70 years, seven decades in which she saw 15 British Prime Ministers, 14 U United States Presidents, seven Popes, born 1926, coronated 1952 and we are seeing King Charles. 73 years accepting condolences, tributes, love, respect from commoners, Londoners, Britishers, citizens of the United Kingdom. And they seem to be from all over. Later, from here, Charles would be addressing the nation and the commonwealth all right let's go back to niranjan with more details on uh, the developments of the evening as it pans out niranjan what more apart from uh, the address by king charles that is to happen in london tonight this it's, it's the first time that he's arriving at the Buckingham Palace, Abhishek, and uh, uh, you know this is a, a change in, in the UK. Uh, he's arriving at the Buckingham Palace for the first time as uh, Britain's new monarch, even though officially uh, it will take a time for him uh, to be proclaimed as the new king, but uh, uh, he's now by default as Britain's new monarch, and uh, he's meeting crowds outside the Buckingham Palace gate, and uh, he's going to, of course, uh, uh, take charge and speak in a few minutes from now. We're expecting an address that will be televised around the world and uh, he's accepting, uh, not just accepting condolences, but we're also meeting uh, his supporters, well-wishers, uh, over a thousand people who gathered right outside the Buckingham Palace and uh, these are like pictures coming in. A bell sold across the city a few minutes back as uh, supporters of the team uh, flocked uh, to the palace gates to honour Queen Elizabeth II as, uh, as their country prepared for a new age under the new king that is King Charles III and uh, and uh, so he's about 73 years old now, obviously roughly 73 years old and uh, many have been discussing about how he's been preparing for the role uh, not very keen, didn't seem very keen of course uh, for the role and uh, he's going to be meeting the Prime Minister he's going to be addressing his country and uh, takes a stone uh, at a time when there is uh, a lot of uncertainty uh, in both the UK and also uh, on the question of monarchy. So, uh, many observers, uh, many uh, commentators speaking on the need. I think you're getting getting some audio there as people cheer him on. Abhishek, let's just try and listen in uh, to some of, uh, uh, some of what's going on there. Long live the king. Is uh, the new uh, is is being chanted outside the Buckingham Palace? I think I just heard that. Long live the king is what people are saying there. Uh, they've begun a, a ten-day mourning period. People of the UK, uh, Britain, beginning a ten-day mourning period. Uh, people also around the world uh, gathering in different British embassies. We just heard the British envoy to India. Alex Ellis also seen a few minutes back and uh, he was at the Balmoral Castle, uh, took off, landed in London, came here straight, I mean, very interesting, you see uh, uh, the whole mix of ethnicity, ethnicities of people who are meeting uh, Prince Charles, uh, sorry, King Charles now, King Charles the uh, Third, from across uh, the world, of course, uh, London is a melting pot, you have people from around the world uh, who've made a UK their home, uh, including Indians. And uh, you know how influential the Indian community is in the UK. Uh, I saw him at least uh, meeting about uh, 20 to 30 Indians uh, in, in, in among the 100 people he's met there. Uh, of course, uh, there may be many more people from the continent who gathered there in large numbers right outside the Buckingham Palace. Uh, those are some of the live pictures are coming in. Uh, a historic moment, of course, uh, for the UK, uh, a, a turning point uh, for uh, their country. 
and uh, uh, King Charles, uh, in a few minutes from now, will be uh, taking charge formally. Now in London uh, and at military sites across the United Kingdom, uh, there was uh, a special gun firing, 96 shots. That was uh, 96 shots for 96 years of uh, Queen Elizabeth. 16 minutes salute, uh, which we covered live as it happened, marking each year of uh, the Queen's life. And uh, today, today officially, Abhishek, is, is the first full day of duty. They're calling it the first full day of duty Friday. He's left, uh, he's left Balmoral, he's coming here to London, he's right outside the Buckingham Palace. Before he goes into the Buckingham Palace, he's, uh, uh, he's also expected to meet uh, the Prime Minister of the UK, Trust. And uh, he's also this evening scheduled to deliver his first speech uh, to the nation uh, as, as a sovereign. And, uh, of course, some of the issues that he's expected to discuss on the issue of monarchy itself, issue of uh, crisis, energy crisis, issue uh, that, that issues that uh, the people of the UK face, uh, war in Ukraine, something that is expected to address, fallout from Brexit, expected to address uh, some of those issues, and uh, hundreds of people arriving here, and uh, through the day we've seen uh, you know thousands and thousands of them gather uh, in large numbers, gather in large numbers to. Uh, uh, you know, uh, paid tribute uh, to the late Queen Elizabeth, leaving bouquets, leaving notes uh, for the uh, monarchy, and uh, and uh, uh, very very telling uh, telling pictures. Queen Elizabeth herself, Abhishek, was uh, uh, was sitting longest in monarch, a symbol of uh, for the people of UK, of course. So she was a symbol of uh, stability, and uh, she seen so many prime ministers come and go, and uh, we've seen pictures of vigil being held across the UK and uh, the Queen's coffin, the Queen's mortal remains will be brought to London and uh, she will lie in, in state for several days before the funeral at the Westminster Abbey. And uh, these are some of the live pictures yeah, coming in. You know, a lot of changes. Could you take a break? Yes, uh, this transition uh, of uh, the monarchy is happening in United Kingdom at a time when uh, the nation is passing through a difficult phase. In fact, uh, just two days before she passed away, she had passed on uh, uh, the Prime Ministership to Liz Truss from uh, Boris Johnson after an internal coup within the Conservative ranks uh, deposed uh, Johnson. Uh, and uh, these are pictures of uh, Prince Charles III, otherwise very restrained, uh, trying to really make an outreach and uh, acknowledging every one of those mourners and supporters of monarchy and uh, this is a role he has prepared for long uh, and the transitions that would take place uh, would be big and small uh, the small ones all right we will take a short break and then come back to the pictures President Draupadi Murmu is set to launch the Pradhan Mantri TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan, which is aimed at providing community support to those suffering from the disease. Under the campaign, people and institutions can adopt blocks, restricts, or even an individual patient and provide nutritional and treatment support. The BJP's national president, J.P. Nadda, is set to reach Chhattisgarh at 11 this morning. This comes ahead of the polls that are scheduled next year. Nadda will also attend the BJP events and three-day RSS national coordination meeting. It is the first time that an all-India coordination meeting of RSS-linked bodies will be held in Chhattisgarh. Villagers in Rachauri have filed a complaint over an alleged pro-Pakistan and anti-India slogan uh, that was raised at the Government Medical College Hostel following a cricket match between Afghanistan and Pakistan as part of the Asia Cup. Telangana's governor Tamilisai Sondarajan has alleged that the government in the state has discriminated against her as she's a woman governor. The claims were, retort were retorted by the Telangana MLC and the Chief Minister KCR's daughter K. Kavita, who said that the governor's office had become a political stage and that allegations were politically motivated. Ghulam Nabi Azad has taken his first chai, but the Gandhis are saying uh, that he had stayed 
uh, there for three days as they fired missiles against him following his resignation, further adding that he'd been pulling his punches at present. Groups belonged to Groups belonging to a particular community have objected to posters about Ghulam Nabi Azad's political campaign in Kishtwar. The municipality in the town stated that a permission had not been taken by the group and were therefore removing the posters as a result. Made history, becoming the first ever Indian to win the prestigious Diamond League trophy. Neeraj achieved the best throw of 88.44 meters to clinch one of the biggest wins of his career. His best throw of 88.44 meters came in his second attempt. The Indian cricket team crushes Afghanistan by 101 runs in their Super 4 clash at the Asia Cup 2022. A century by Virat Kohli and a five-wicket haul by Pesa Bhuvneshwar Kumar helped India defeat Afghanistan. Virat Kohli scored the highest individual score by an Indian player in T20 international cricket. He accomplished the score in the Super 4 clash against Afghanistan at the Asia Cup. Virat scored his much-anticipated 71st century, smashing an unbeaten 122 in just 61 balls with six sixes. Former Indian spinner Harbhajan Singh, who will participate in the second season of the Road Safety World Series, said he is fully devoted to creating awareness to save lives. The Road Safety World Series will feature legends from India, New Zealand, Australia, Sri Lanka, West Indies, South Africa, Bangladesh and England. New Zealand was displaced from the top Spot in the recently released International Cricket Council ODI team rankings for the men's cricket after New Zealand's consecutive losses against Australia. Well, we are back to the live pictures coming in from London, where Prince Charles, King Charles III, now has arrived back at Buckingham Palace from Balmoral in Scotland, where he was by the side of uh, his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away yesterday peacefully, as per the statement from. The royal family and in the pictures uh, King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla walking inside the Buckingham Palace uh, outside of course uh, hundreds and thousands of mourners uh, and the supporters of royal family there to express their sadness at the passing away of their Queen Queen Mother as she was called loved respected And she's no more. After seven decades as the reigning monarch of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. And later in the evening, King Charles is all set to meet Prime Minister Listras and then address the nation and the Commonwealth. Republic's Yakub news break gets bigger. NBA minister seen with Ralph Memon. Republic uh, has accessed exclusive visuals of Abdul Ralph Memon with Juma Masjid Trust and ministers of Mahavikas Agadi couple. Earlier in the day, Republic also accessed a sensational letter that was written by former graveyard trustee where terrorist Yakub Memon is buried. Uh, in the letter sent to the Mumbai police on 6th of January 2020, the then trustee claimed to have received a threat call from Tiger Memon's close aide and relative Rauf Memon. The International Olympic Committee has issued a final warning to the Indian Olympic Association to conduct its elections or face a suspension. The IOC has given India until December to conduct its elections or face immediate suspension when the world body's executive board meets. Neera Chopra scripted history for the country, becoming the first Indian to win the Diamond Trophy in the finale of Diamond League series in men's chapter. The first Indian athlete to win a Diamond League event.